Cancer and welcome to your reading. This will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You guys are dealing with a, a Cancer and you're watching and cross washer. This message might make more sense to you. Also, these are timeless readings. Okay, things are not black and white. Things are not what they appear to be. Okay. There's definitely a connection with another individual here. And there seems to be a deceptive energy, but I actually like this person. I, listen, I don't know who you're dealing with here. There's the seven of swords, which is normally uh, not truthful. And I'm not saying that they're a liar, but it's like not operating out of like source and like um, spirit. It's attention seeker like look at me it's just somebody operating out of ego a little bit more and so it's easy to point the finger and, and be accusatory and call this person names or narcissist or liar like whatever it is or like manipulator but hurt people hurt people and I, I one cancer has there been a lack of communi communication not okay not lack of communication you guys are speaking different languages. Um, you're on the brink of getting to the other side of this because I'm like, things aren't exactly as they seem to be. Like, if you understood why somebody's been treating the way you... If you understood why, the why, somebody's been treating you the way that they have, if you heard their why, you might have a lot of sympathy and a lot of empathy going, oh, it was never about me. I thought it was about me. I thought you were doing this. I thought you were doing that. Like. Oh, there seems to be a misunderstanding. And I think it has to do with you guys are not communicating. I mean, I physically feel you are, but you're not communicating well. Because <laughs> you're not hearing each other. You're not seeing each other. We're operating out of ego here, and that might be both of you here. But there is a connection here. Cancer, I actually really like this person for you. And I actually really like you for this person. But there's a but. The but is, I don't know if I believe it, and that may be you, or I don't know if you want to put belief back in them, or trust them again, or open up to them again. Yeah, King of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords, well, it's more than a rough batch. I see you guys getting through it. The ego can be self-deceiving. I actually, I don't think this person has like a bad bone in their body. And what I mean by that, it's not malicious intent. I think you need to crack the, it's like, oh, I cracked the case wide open and I understood what was really going on. It wasn't about me. They were going through something and not that they took it out on you, but like, Sure, maybe it wasn't handled well or communicated well or something. Heavy energies. On both your parts, though, there's been thoughts of like, should I walk away? Should I leave this? Maybe they walked away, unless it's you, but like. I feel the walking energy, walking away energy more is floating around above you, too. So it's more like, I'm done, but I don't leave. Or they left and they came back, or vice versa. Because it's floating around like this dark cloud over both of you guys, but I don't see it staying. And so they could have walked away, but they'll be back. Or you could have walked away and you'll be back. You might even be looking for a sign, do I give them a second chance? This is a hell yeah, not even a yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It just, I just grabbed the deck and the bottom of the deck card slid out and it's a fool yeah you give them another chance I really I don't know the deep down they're a really good person they can treat you right they're good for you but vice versa you guys both might have been reflecting each other's shadows back and forth onto each other let's see what else is going on here cancer Seven of Pentacles, waiting for the right time, waiting to make the right move. When do I call? When do I reach out? Should I text? Are they going to text? 
What are you waiting for? Why are you waiting? What? Why? Are you living too much in the past and in the pain? No, it looks like that's what's blocking going forward. There's something either needs to be let go of, accepted, forgiven, I don't know. Because I don't think this person is going to do you wrong. I don't think they want to hurt you. I don't think they even meant to hurt you. But you're protecting your heart. You're, uh... I don't know if that's you or them. Afraid to give them another chance? Cancer. But there's new energy on the horizon. There's still passion between you guys. You guys, There's chemistry there. There's even a, a psychic pull. There's even an intuition. Like, there, there's spiritual connection between you guys. Like, that fire, that flame. There even give be some kundalini activations when you guys are around each other. Because there is a spiritual connection. That was the first card that came out. Very intuitive. Cancer, there's your card too. The High Priestess, there's the moon. You're ruled by the moon. There's your card. I think you have to love them for all their faults and all their good. It's the light and dark. You can't just have somebody accept one side of them and not accept the other, but then I want, want them to accept one side of you and not the other. It's a... It's a a one package deal like our soul is embodied in our physical body and our physical body is the ego it's the shadow right but inside is my soul it's both energies it's the light and the dark the yin and the yang the masculine and feminine you already have it within you so if you want them to accept you for your faults and all and forgive you and, and accept you you'd have to do the same thing it's a two-sided coin you cannot have your soul on this planet as a human without having the ego in the shadow. You have to have light and dark. And so I think understanding, you know what would be a really good thing? A couple things. One, you could walk a mile in their shoes and try to understand them better. But two, if you messed up and you said something out of a moment of anger, upset, or you did something and you felt bad about it, would you want to be judged for it and like have it thrown back in your face? And be like, man, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have said that. Like, I regret it. I feel bad. I feel guilty. Like, you would want somebody to keep holding on to that. And you're like, that one moment does not define you. That one single incident does not define you. So, let it go. Because that one single incident doesn't define them. And they're more than just their shadow. They have a lot of light. And that's what I'm tapping into. That's why this person is good for you. And I just looked. It said 757. So, there's an angel code for you, too, as well. The activation. So if you want people to accept you, the good and all, the bad and all, that's where I feel like you have to dig deep to accept them as well. They don't mean to harm nobody. They don't want to wish you any ill will. They're trying. They're doing the best that they physically can. Their way of trying is going to be different than your way of trying. Like... You would do things one way, they're gonna do it another. And so because they're not doing it the way you expect, it's not being done and then it's like, well, feels like your needs aren't met or aren't honored or something like that, but they're doing what works for them the way they know how. And so that's why I feel like getting to truly understand each other because All the crap you guys have been through, this is all operating out of ego. It's way beyond that. It's way beyond that. The connection you two share is way beyond that. Like, everything else, this is all like a facade. I mean, isn't this everything on this planet, the matrix, it's all a facade anyway. So, think of that. Like, break out of that matrix thinking. Break out of the ego. Land back into your heart center with this individual. Because you two are connected. Like, literally, soul star chakra connected like I can't even your angels they keep bringing you this person back in your life for a reason or maybe they never left but there's a connection here and they're supposed to be here so cancer are you gonna let love in or are you gonna push them away that's your choice but they have a lot of love for you I'll tell you that 
All right, Cancer, this is a beautiful place to wrap up your reading. Thank you so much for watching. If you got anything out of this video, do me a favor and that thumbs up button this way. I know you've got something that resonated. If you guys haven't yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. There's a bell too. You want to hit the bell and turn on all notifications. I don't want you guys to miss out on any upcoming messages. The next message just might be the message that you need to hear today. All right, my loves. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, be blessed.